this is Darren Tackett with the Tackett team of Remax Fine Properties, and this is part two of my two-part series on what you need to know to hire the right agent. In the first part of the series, we talked about what to look for with a buyer's agent. So I thought it'd be good to have a second video that talks about what to look for in a listing agent, uh, because they are quite different. Um, a lot of similarities, but definitely differences. One of the things that I've noticed over the years is that people will hire almost anybody as their buyer's agent. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that traditionally the commission is paid for by the seller. So people walk through an open house and they go, oh, that agent was nice and they don't really look like a serial killer. So, and, and they have that thing that opens the doors at the houses we wanna see. So, you know, let's just have them show us houses. So they don't really think about it too much. Um, and, and I tell newer agents that that's really the way to go because uh, the barrier of entry to being a buyer's agent is very low. On the flip side, when it comes to listing a home and meeting with a seller and you drop five or 6% in front of them, all of a sudden that's when the hard questions come as it should. So it's kind of the PhD of being an agent is becoming a good listing agent. And there's three things I wanted to touch on similar to what you look for in a buyer's agent that you would definitely look for in a listing agent. So the first thing I talked about in my previous video when it comes to agents is that experience matters and it matters a lot when it comes to picking your listing agent. The reason for this is that in our contracts, the seller has no outs. There is no way for a seller to sign, or I'm sorry, to cancel a contract once they've signed it. So you better make sure that if you're gonna accept an offer, that it's the right offer for you. Especially in today's world, when there's multiple offers on many of the properties, you wanna make sure that you're choosing the best offer. Because again, once you sign that, you're in it. So from being able to decide that, to knowing the type of marketing you should do, to understanding the, the seasonal trends of, of our market, all these things add up to looking for an agent who's been doing it long enough to know it. The second thing you wanna look for in a really good listing agent is an agent who also works with buyers. The reality is if you are not out showing property, it's very hard to stay relevant on the current market, the trends, what people like, what they don't like. And what this does is when you get offers on your listings and agents are trying to justify it using the comps, you can say, look, I've been in these homes. I know why this one sold for this. I know why ours is better. And, and that's just the reality. It's the only way for you to be relevant as a listing agent is to be able to show other homes and know the market inside and out. The third thing that you wanna look for in an agent to list your home is, it's very similar to my first video, is an agent who has a lot of experience handling multiple offer situations. Again, this is critical when you're a listing agent because the seller is gonna be stuck with that offer for the, th the remainder of the escrow. So you need to be able to evaluate and look at multiple offers and tell a seller which one is better. And sometimes it's not the one that nets them the most money because the one that nets them the most money may also have the highest risk of cancellation. So you have to understand the different types of financing from FHA to VA to conventional to jumbo loans. You have to understand the advantages of a cash quick close deal. Did they offer somebody a, a free lease back? Um, did they offer to go non-refundable on their uh, earnest money right out of the acceptance? There's just a lot of factors. And if you're not in and out of the contract all the time, it's very easy to miss some of these. And I don't think any seller wants to go through two or three weeks on market, have a deal fall apart and have to start over again. So to recap what we talked about, you are gonna look for an experienced agent who also works with buyers and has handled a lot of multiple offer scenarios. Now, this applies mostly to today's market. If the market shifts, I could probably do a whole nother video on what to look for in a listing agent in that market. But in today's world where properties are in short supply, they're going off the market quickly, these are the things that are the most valuable for you. So we appreciate your time. If you like our videos, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.